Traditionally, the therapy that we give to patients is chemotherapy, very intensive. It requires that they're often in the hospital not for at least with induction chemotherapy for 30 days. For those patients that get re-induction chemotherapy, then they're in the hospital for at least another 30 days. Uh, some of this can be done as an outpatient depending on where the patient is treated. In the context of using an n 100 milligrams by mouth daily, this is an agent that you can give to a patient they can take it at home and you can follow them in the outpatient setting with just checking their counts regularly and seeing them. In the, um, in the package insert, it recommends that um, physicians follow patients at least every two weeks with complete blood counts. And for some patients, you may want to do things a little bit more frequently depending on whether or not they're having symptoms and what their lab values may look like. So I think it really is up to the physician to make um, and direct the therapy according to the patient that's taking this agent and how they're tolerating it. Uh, it can be pretty stark in contrast when you see a patient that's able to take a medication like this at home in comparison to what we normally do, we keep them in the hospital and give them, um, you know, require that they be in the hospital for pretty prolonged periods of time. They lose quite a bit of independence. They lose a lot in terms of their physical performance. And you know, there's a lot of um, emotional um, depression that comes with feeling pretty restricted and in the hospital and not surrounded by your loved ones. So I think a, an agent like this has been meaningful. Uh, I think the downside is that it isn't for every patient with AML. It really only pertains to about 10% of patients that have AML. And so to that end, you know, our, I think we're striving to make sure that we work to finding therapies like this for more patients and um, hopefully we'll be able to do that in years to come.